So many things can go wrong. It's a long trip for some of them. As birds get ready to make their winter migration, many attempting the long flight for the first time have the odds of surviving stacked against them. A bird's first migratory journey is full of danger, and the reality is the majority of birds taking their inaugural trip to warmer climates will die along the way. A huge percentage of birds do not make and or survive their first migration, upwards to 70 percent, seven zero. Jacques Beaujois with the Oak Hammock Marsh Wetlands Discovery Center says the high mortality rate has a lot to do with the birds being inexperienced, having never made the trip before. Birds face obstacles like predators, habitat loss, human-made structures, and weather. Like a big storm that kind of tr that triggers like a, a disorientation for the birds and they will kind of get lost at sea and drown. That could be one thing. Uh, could be uh, predation, natural predation, such as hawks and eagles that will prey on smaller birds, or it could be less natural predation like cats. Bourgeois says domesticated cats kill a lot of birds during migration and recommends owners keep their cats indoors during this time of year. Destroyed or altered habitats affect the bird's ability to find food, sometimes becoming too weak to fly and starving to death. Bourgeois says keeping bird feeders full and available during migration time can improve the success rate for birds taking that first long trek. They need to pack up a lot of energy. They have a big trip ahead of them. So basically having some, some uh, black oil sunflowers in your feeder is actually a really good strategy to, to keep them well nourished during the migration. According to Bird Canada, an estimated 1 million birds are killed each year from flying into the steel cables that support cell phone and radio towers. Wind turbines also take an enormous toll on migrating birds. So you might wonder why a bird who survived the perilous journey going in one direction would fly back at all. Why not stay where the weather is warm all year long and avoid the risks associated with a return migration? If you look at North America, it's like a large funnel. There's lots of land up north, not so much in the south. Bourgeois says birds return to improve the odds of their offspring survival. The undeveloped landmass in Canada is huge compared with some areas down south. More land means less competition for food and habitat, giving young birds a better chance of survival with hopes that they'll make that first migration flight of their own one day. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.